Hey, it's Catherine with Mumtog Educate, and I just wanted to give you a little behind the scenes in my little studio. So a lot of um, members that have joined me on YouTube and on my Facebook group have wanted to know where to buy products for their newborn sessions. Who are the good vendors? Where do you find them? And are they just where do you find them? So one of the biggest um, tools that I have used to find the right vendors is Instagram. And so what I'll do is I'll type into the, in the tags portion in the search, um, is newborn prop vendors. And, um, I just want to walk you through the products that I have in my studio and some of the essentials so that you don't have to waste your money on a bunch of things that you'll probably never use. So the thing about newborn photography is that being a newborn studio photographer, you need an abundance of props and without props, you can't really perform properly for your session. So I just wanted to go through some basics that I have. I'll let you know who the vendors are that I've purchased from. They're reliable, they're efficient, you'll get your products and they have great customer service. So I will start with my wraps. Um, wraps are probably one of the biggest essential tools that you'll need for your session. And the best advice that I can give you is just to get um, some neutral wraps to start with. The reason why is because you're gonna use your neutral wraps more than any other color that you could purchase. And eventually, as you build up your clientele and build up um, your business income, then you can afford to go and purchase all the different shades and color tones. So it's really good to have some different wraps with a texture or some type of fringe or anything that looks like rustic-y. I don't know if that's a word, but it is for me. Anyways, um, a crinkle wrap is good, but it's not great for wrapping. It's good for texture and it's good for layers. Um, or the top layer of a um, potato sack post. So stick to neutrals, get some creams, some browns, some whites, and just stick to that for now. Um, the next thing that I would suggest would be getting some knitted alpaca, brushed alpaca wraps. So um, I'm gonna list um, a bunch of different vendors that you can purchase these from. These are hand knitted. Some of them are from in Canada or in the States or some are from um, different European countries. Um, I'll put a list down for you, but one of my favorites is, um, I forgot the name in the video, so it's Purely New Knits and you can only find her on Instagram. Wrap that I would advise getting would be a sweater knit. Now you can go to the fabric store in your local area and try and find a stretchy cream uh, sweater knit fabric. So you're going to use this. I use these probably every single session as my, my wraps that are against the skin. And then you can actually purchase these from Sugar Baby Photo Props. And these are the waffle stretch wraps. Now these wraps are really nice because they're insanely stretchy and they're perfect for the toes out wrap and um, you can use it as an under wrap or you can use it as the toes out wrap and it crisscrosses perfectly and she has them come with really cute bonnets or sleepy cap sets. And these are super affordable if you don't wanna go for the more expensive hand knitted um, wraps like these. These are also from Sugar Baby Photo Props and they're super stretchy, they're nice and long. I would advise don't get a wrap that's shorter than 60 inches. Um, if you can get a wrap between 60 inches and 72 inches long, that's perfect. That's the exact length that you want. And I would say this is at least 12 inches wide, okay? So get some neutral wraps. That's the best advice I can give you to begin with. Okay, so now for props, you're gonna need at least three to four solid props that are good quality that you can use for every single session. Now there's certain things that I use with every session and they're hands down worth the investment. So this one is a wooden bucket and this is made, this was handmade from Props Market I believe, but I'll, I'll put the link in the description below of this video. But this is solid wood and it's handmade. It cost me about 160 Canadian, but that was a lot of shipping and exchange. So, but it was worth it. Um, the next thing I would suggest would be to get a bowl of some sort. Now this is a bowl with mesh in it. This is from JD Vintage Props. 
But um, before I got this, I actually had gone to a antique store and I had got this, these ones. This is just a metal wash basin and this is a dough bowl. So this I think cost me about 35 Canadian from an antique store. I used this for years before I got the other ones. And this one I think cost me about 25. And this, both of these were like my go-to essential bowls. But I would absolutely recommend getting some form of bowl, okay? Now the next thing would be to get a bed of some sort. So um, there's different types of beds. There are beds like this. Now these are awesome because you can have the baby um, with the leg hanging down, the head up here, or you can have the bum up pose on top, or you can face the baby up towards the ceiling and you can take the shot so that the baby is, is wrapped and looking up and you can shoot down. So it's very versatile and um, I would highly recommend. So I have a few different beds. Um, I've got two of those type and those are from Picked Your Perfect Photo Prop. It's kind of a word jumble, so I'll tag that vendor as well. Um, I'm gonna just show you a few of my other beds because these are quite popular. And they're actually a client favorite. And this one will not break the bank, but it's not very sturdy. So you really have to be extra cautious with this one. But this one comes from Zoo Lily of all places. And it comes with this cute little antique mattress and a wire bed frame. So it's definitely not super sturdy, but it's a super cute prop to incorporate into your session. This bed is also from picture, uh, favorite, I can't even remember the name of it. But um, so what I do is I take this little mattress here and I put it right on top of the bed here and I shoot the shot with the baby's arms on it like this and the baby is, so it's like this on the prop. Or you can have it like this, where the leg is dangling down or bum up on the on the bed. So there's multiple different things that you can do with this prop. So you want a bucket, you want a bowl, you want a bed. And the last thing I would advise would be to either get a box like this or a trench. Now the trench is a favorite of mine. It's just very, I just like the way it looks, but if you can get a box or a trench, definitely worth the investment. I use this almost every single session. Now, if you can't afford to get all of these expensive props, go to your local craft store and invest in some baskets. This basket was from Michael's in Canada, Michael's craft store, and this basket was $20. This is a go-to favorite of clients and of mine, and I use this probably every other session. So it was definitely worth the money. And you don't always need to spend a fortune on actual physical props. A big trend right now is the heart prop. Now this heart prop is awesome because you can put the baby in the actual physical prop, or you can slip it underneath fabric and you can create that as a completely different setup. So that's really pretty. This one is from Do It Herself Photo Props and she's in Canada. So if you're Canadian, great, support local. If you're American, you'll save a lot of money on the exchange rate. Now, over here, I have my tie backs and my bonnets. So um, I'll just go through a few of my favorite vendors for these. Um, these ones are the, the matching waffle fabric bonnets. These are from Sugar Baby Photo Props. Um, I have some home main ones that I did. Um, if you're going to knit your own, use brushed alpaca knit um, yarn to start with. There's beautiful shades, millions of brands. Just try and do something that's natural. Don't even bother with acrylic because acrylic will photograph quite cheaply. This is from Whatsoever Things. This is from Two Crafty Mamas. Sugar Baby Props. Um, now these, 
These ones are from Lotto Knit on Instagram, and I will tag them. They're an awesome vendor and super affordable too. This one is from Beautiful You. I will tag her, and I will actually show you another product that she makes that is incredible. She's very talented. Um, this is also from Whatsoever Things. And um, Angora is a very beautiful yarn as well. So if you're a big knitter, also stick to all the natural fibers such as Angora. And that is also from Lotto Knit. This one is from HG Love. Um, photo props and she's in Canada as well so if you want to support local this is Lotto Knit, Lotto Knit, Whatsoever Things. Um, I do kind of stick to a few specific vendors because once you order from a good vendor you want to support them because you know you can trust them and you know that the product they send you is going to be worth the money. Um, tie backs, I would highly recommend the Dainty Miss. I would say a good third of my um, tie backs are from the Dainty Miss. Um, I tried a new vendor called Arasasa. I'll link her uh, business in the description below. Um, I also have Sugar Baby Photo Props. I would say more than a third of my tie backs are from Sugar Baby Photo Props. Um, this is from Lemon and Pearl Design. And some of them are homemade, but a good majority are from the vendors that I've just listed. So another really important staple for your newborn photography is basket and prop stuffers. So you're always going to have your wraps. Those are going to be a huge um, staple in your studio. However, you're going to need to have some bulky and chunky layers and um, bump blankets, as they are called. So um, if you don't have the money to invest in super expensive ones, I would recommend going on Instagram, going into the search engine and going under tags and look for um, yarn vendors. So um, specifically this is called a thick and thin yarn. So you can search the hashtag thick and thin um, and you're going to find a lot of different um, yarn vendors who actually spin their own yarn and that's awesome. This one is from exactly that, how I suggested to search for it. I found this uh, girl who has a Facebook group and I bought um, a few different hand spun yarns. So she hand dyed them and they're just really pretty knit up and they photograph really well because they're a natural fiber. When you purchase acrylic yarn, it's going to photograph shiny and cheap looking, not to mention the fibers break. So this is um, also a yarn that I purchased from Weds, I believe, in the States. And this is a brushed alpaca and it is... Uh, bulky. Okay, um, this is also another yarn vendor that I knitted it myself. And um, this one is from Whatsoever Things. And as this one, Whatsoever Things, she actually matches her uh, layer um, blankets to her wrap. So I actually bought this as a set with this wrap and it has a matching bonnet. So it's really nice when you have a hard time um, matching products together to find vendors that actually do that for you. So another great vendor who does that for you is one of my favorites and she is the beautiful you, E-W-E. So these bump blankets, they're called woolly blankets on her site and I will link her site in the description below. And they are amazing. They're my very favorite. And if I could afford to buy every color, I would. But they're 48 US dollars each. And it seems expensive, and it is expensive, but you're going to use it for every session. So, um, like I said, initially just buy a neutral color. This one, I found the yarn at a local um, yarn store, but it still cost me 50 Canadian just for the yarn. And then I had to knit it myself. So I did lose on the exchange and shipping, but the quality is there and it's worth every penny. So try and build up your collection and get as many colors as you can. And then try to coordinate your wraps and your bonnets to those woolly blankets. A huge staple in your photography business is going to be a flocati. Now, if you can't afford to get multiple flocatis, don't worry about it. Um, you just need a cream one. 
And that's all I had for probably five years as a cream flow cotty. So this flow cotty, I believe, has been with me since my twins were born, and they're almost six. I bought it off of rugsusa.com. I believe that there's another Flocati um, store in the States called Flocati.net, and you can purchase multiple different colors, and they're around 100 bucks for a four by six. Um, another Flocati vendor that specifically dyes her Flocatis for photographers is called Loonberry.com, and I will link that as well in the description. Um, also, if you want to get extra fancy, you can go and buy all these little things such as little pillows. And if you want to get crafty, go to a secondhand store, buy some yarn sweaters, like knitted sweaters, and you can sew your own and stuff them. And you can also get these little knitted teddies. Now these are such a cute little addition to your session. They are about 35 Canadian each and these ones are from Ginger and Pickles Photo Props and I will link her also in the description. She's just moved to Australia, so you're gonna save on the exchange rate if you're American. And um, I, the last necessity I would suggest would be your beans. Now I'm not sure if Sugar Baby Photo Props is still selling them. Um, check her out, um, they're definitely worth having because they're very handy and very useful. I can stuff them in a, un, under the fabric on the bean bag or dog bed. I can stuff the baby to keep them secure in the bucket. They're just, they're very handy tool. Anyways, um, the last thing I wanted to show you and, and discuss with you was fabric for your bean bag or your dog bed. So yeah, I'm a little bit messy. Some of these are from my local fabric store and I do try and check the fabric store every time I'm in, I'm in the city, but um, some of them are from some vendors in the United States and Canada. So this one is from Hello Little Photo Props, and this one is a pretty lace. It's a girly, but not a girly color. Um, this one is from Manly and Pretty Little Things, I think. Manly and Pretty. Just look her up. She's on Instagram and Facebook, and um, she's reasonably priced, I believe. And then a good majority of my fabrics are from Sugar Baby Photo Props. So these are my favorites. I've got a lot of these speckled knit fabrics. They're thick and um, quite stretchy, so you can see the pretty speckles on them. They're just very pleasing to the eye, and they're very nice to photograph on. And Sugar Baby Photo Props has a whole bunch. And Hello Little Props is where I got my blue one. This one right here. So I hope that this gave you some insight on where to look into for your studio props. And feel free to shoot me a message if you have a question about anything. As well as don't forget to join our Facebook group, Mom Tog Educate. And I just really am so excited to make another video for you guys. And please don't forget to hit the little notification bell and hit the subscribe button. I can't wait to hear from you. Take care.